when did you kind of have this idea that like, yo, I might fucking call him out after this thing? I mean, I thought about it, you know, obviously the weeks leading up to the fight. Uh, he had called me out like before he made his debut or when he first got signed, people were asking him like who he wants to fight. And I was one of the names he mentioned a couple of times uh, only because I beat his teammate. And he wanted to, you know, he wants to get that one back for the gym, which is understandable. Uh, and we're in the same weight class, so, I don't, you know, it makes sense. But I don't think, I'll, you know, I'm not sure if I'll get that fight like right now. Maybe down the line we can build it up. Um, you know, th my next fight will be my 10th UFC fight, and he's going on his second. So, you know, I think the UFC will try to build him a little bit more. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. But, uh you know, he's saying to people that he'll finish me in the first round. And, you know, he's trying to keep that persona of, you know, kind of like McGregor or, you know, like, oh, I'm going to finish. But, you know, he wasn't malicious or he wasn't, like, being, like, crazy about it. So, you know, he's just got to do what he's got to say what he's got to say. Uh, so, but I think down the line, if it doesn't happen sooner, that it will be a great fight. And, you know, it grabs me headlines and I got a lot of attention because of it. You know, ESPN reposted it, you, you know, all these people reposted it. So, you know, it was only good for me. And that's what you got to do in this. It's not just obviously winning is the, the number one thing, but uh, making some noise is a huge part of it also.